Those are the numbers. 11 and 1. Whee! 13 and 4. Wow. Impressive. But those are the two most important numbers. 20 plays 31. Parnas runs and dances around the ring like he's having so much fun. He really is like a little baby in a playground. <laughs> and uh, tonight, his playground is the KSW 46 ring. Our referee, Mr. Thomas Bronda. Martin Zoshev takes on Salahadin Panas in this featherweight bout, three five-minute rounds. Parnas undefeated in KSW, but taking a big step up in competition. The question is, can he deal with a guy who is a great stand-up fighter who comes forward? We've seen footwork, we've seen a very difficult style to counter and deal with from Parnas. At 20 years of age, the sky seems to be the limit. But for Josek, he has experience. He has a lot of time here in the KSW ring, fighting very high-level competition, and he's a former champ. Southport, just look at the twitches, look at the muscle flex. He's throwing all kinds of things, and that left hand goes straight through Main Street, up and connects. Zoshek already having difficulty nailing that target in the crosshairs. Zoshek was looking for that 2-3, Parnas, nice outside lead leg kick. Inside kick there from Josek attacking the inside of the leg. That open stance is very interesting. Both guys looking for outside foot position, good hand fighting, tapping and trapping. Parnas is good in both positions. He can switch hit. How long he stands southpaw against Josek remains to be seen. Parnas is doing something very interesting here. He's not backing off. He's not using the ring. He's standing and trading. He's controlling the center of the cage. Parnas has brought something different here. I think Parnas thinks he can trade with Josek here. He's not on his bike. He's come to do some meaningful work. And just look at the feints there. I mean, round and round it goes. Where it comes, no one knows. That's what we saw from Parnas against Sovinsky. Probably because he thought Savinsky's going to try to take him down. I don't know if Josek's going to go for that. Just look at that. A little slip of the chin, and he comes back with the hands. This is electrifying. Oh, but he gets caught there. And Josek manages to land and forces Panas for the shoot. Panas takes it up, ends him. It goes to the ground. Chris, this is exciting. Look at this here. Parnas going for that takedown. We haven't seen that so far in KSW. That could be the X factor. Josek probably wasn't expecting this. He was expecting the bike routine. Exactly now, well, he's given up his back, and Parnas has he got the skills to work this against somebody that's a very, very good grappler, like Josek. Brings the knee strike in, Parnas has an opportunity here. There's that leg, knee strike to the leg, the thigh, to try and weaken his man. Beautiful. He sat down and kicked the heels of Josek to get that back take. Made him slide forward, got the hooks in, has now gone to the body triangle. This is bad. Huge for Parnas. He's gone now, obviously forced to give that up. Thought about the mount, now goes back to the back. Josek is trying to scramble here and create an opening. The dynamic change was absolutely blistering, wasn't it? Parnas has brought something to this. I don't think Josek expected this. We thought this was going to be a stand-up bout the whole way. But just look at this. Parnas, so bright, so clever. He's a natural. Great work from Josek to survive, to come out of it. But I'm telling you now, this is going to be an absolute barnstormer. Josek looking for that 2-3. He's going to dip into the right hand and then go for the left. But he gets punished. Left-right-left combination. Great work there from Parnas. We've seen a different dimension from the young Frenchman. That's the thing. We haven't seen him on the ground. He looked pretty good there. Yeah, it's hard to defend and watch against something that, you know, you're not being able to look up on YouTube. You're not being able to research. I mean, this guy is a secret, isn't he? And he's camper very good. Look at the strength. He holds his man up there with the underhooks as uh, Josek tries to shoot there. This is more of an equal opportunity position here where both guys are in the clinch. They're looking for one guy in a 50-50 position to try to get some more leverage. Maybe one guy's stronger. It's a very telling moment in a fight when you lock up like this for the first time. Panas is strong, you know. He's controlling that top body weight of Zoshek. He's not being hurled around. He looks slight. He looks thin. He looks whispery because he's light on his toes. But he's using good strength here. But Zosek, well, this guy is a, a, you know, you've got to put a stake in his heart to keep him down. But look at that. Right, left, right, left. I mean, so blisteringly fast. Using his head like a time ball. 
Parnas, it's funny, you know, he goes from using speed and standing to using movement to this. That had to be the game plan. Again, look at that back take. Could get the hooks in, but he spun and put Josek to his side. Forced the turtle. Crazy. Beautiful takedown. I mean, that's so slick. You very rarely see that. We're on the 10-second clapper. It's a clear win in this round for Parnas. And uh, Zoshek might as well have to go back to the drawing board. They, uh, they call him the zombie because he finishes covered in blood. Well, that could well be the story tonight. What a great opening round, Chris. What a crazy series of trades. And Parnas pulled out the X Factor. That was the thing that I wanted to see. This was the thing that maybe I thought Josek would try to test. And I think he thought about it there in the clinch. He tried to lock up with him and see what can I get out of this. Well, the answer was he almost had his back taken again. You know, I love that. The X Factor. That's what Parnas has got. I mean, I don't want to take away anything from any other fighters. But even if Parnas loses, what he brings to this is magical. It really is. I mean, that takedown was just great. Sits down, takes his man out from behind. And just look at the punches. Beautiful linear shapes we're seeing. So aware as well as you're seeing in these exchanges. He knows when to hand fight. He knows when to probe. He knows when not to overreach, when to lean backwards. Again, like that, he realized he's going to get hit, so he mitigated it. There gets the pickup, flares the legs, double leg takedown. I'm hoping the truck will give us a replay on one of those back takes. That was a near head kick. Obviously, he knew Josek was leaning into that. Parnas is just a master at reading patterns. The crazy thing is, he's not only athletic and he can catch you with his athleticism, but he catches you with his mind. Parnas, when he misses with a punch, he's able to flick it to try and bring it into connection. It's a really skillful technique. We go to round two. Where this will go, we don't know. It's a great performance from Marcin Josek, I have to say, as well. We're talking about Parnas because it is glittery. It is glitz and it is bling but you know we can't take away from the fact that Zoshek is doing real hard graft and spoiling Panas he wants the clinch he wants to press it make it physical double unders here for Panas Zosek pummels with the right good work here Looks to drop for a single, head outside. Maybe go high crotch now. He's got the lock, he's got that barbell grip. Nice frame and defense from Parnas with that lead right leg. Still able to use his knees. Parnas, not troubled so far. A lot of energy being expended by Josek to maintain this. It seems as if uh, all quiet on the Western Front. There's a little reversal there from Parnas as it's uh, Zoshek's turn to take a trip to the wire. Parnas has shown another dimension in this fight, and he's done it when he needed it and where he needed it. It's crazy to think he's only been a pro in the MMA game since, well, June 2015. So it's getting a little bit attritional now between these two. Trying to wear each other down and impose themselves. Parnas shakes his head and says no. High kick goes up, beautifully delivered. Front teep, beautifully delivered. Textbook kickboxing lesson, still southport. A little bit of blood from the left eye of Parnas. And that might be telling. We know the zombie is attritional. Good work from Marcin Zoshek, it really is. But he gets reversed here as Parnas hangs on to the back. Good stuff here from Parnas, nice frame. Goes to the knee. He knows when to kind of turn things and change directions. He knows when he wants to hold on you. He knows when he wants to work. And the crazy thing is, he's outworking a guy who said, I'm going to outwork you. Look at that left and then the uppercut. I mean, it's blistering. And I think maybe the uh, trickle of blood on the cheek of Parnas came from the nose of Zosek. Well, we're two minutes left in this second round, and it's been a much more attritional, much more grinding, down and dirty round, which we didn't think we'd see from these two fighters, particularly Parnas. 
A lot of fighting here going for an underhook. Panache showing incredible strength, isn't he? You look at Zoshek and he's big at the weight, looks much stronger than Panas. But just look at this, he's down and dirty. Who would have thought you'd have seen Panas in this kind of an exchange? So, there's space between them, and he gets caught, Panas, but he replies. Zoshek now starting to make inroads. Panas starting to blow, starting to breathe, and you cannot be that quick, you cannot be that fast if you're sucking for air. That was a cracking right hand. Parnas was kind of leaning in and didn't, I don't think, expect it. He's got to make sure he keeps those hands up. He's small a little bit under the eye. Oh, he cracked him well. Knocks him to the ground, Parnas, and this time he goes in to finish it. Zoshek in all kinds of trouble. He turtles up. Parnas wants to finish this, and he rains pain down. Parnas looking to try and end this here. Zoshek defending. Tries to go for the rear naked choke. Cannot get the arm round. He's hooked the legs in, and he's got his back, and Zoshek now in trouble. This is huge. Parnas has got that body triangle. He's going to work for the choke here, but I think he needs to keep punching. I would not pursue the submission here, Will. I would go and just go to work with that ground and pound. Well, he's up against the clock now, 25 seconds. How is he going to fare to the end of the clock? Runs out. It's a real, real opportune position for Panas, but he's up against the bell. And they're looking. There's the 10 seconds. And Panas happy to wait this round out. Look at him controlling the right hand of Zoshek. He was looking to hold on for that wrist ride. I think Josek knew the time was running. Parnas did as well. That was a chance for Josek to clear his headspace, but for sure he was in some trouble there. Ironically, after hitting Parnas with probably the cleanest right hand of this fight. That caused an awful lot of damage. And it just goes to show you how the reversal of momentum can happen in the blink of an eye. And to rock a fighter like Zoshek, that's something else. Well, it was interesting because Panas was gassed midway through that round. There's no denying it. He'd been roughed up on the inside. He'd expended a lot of energy on the wire, and he really wasn't looking as lemon fresh as we thought he would do. And that's the thing about his style. Because he uses so much movement and is such a high-output guy, it takes energy to keep that up for three rounds. Josek did press the pace. Good connections here, obviously, from Parnas with those looping boxing combinations. There, that was the clean right hand from Josek marching. The Polish zombie, Josek, definitely scored well a bit there and then ended up with his head a little bit too deep and got dropped. Two, three uppercuts from Parnas right on the button. Zosek's jaw has been tested there. That's incredible. Well, it's all going to the wire, literally, because this is the third and final round. Featherweight is the division. Both these fighters have their eye on the title. Salahadin Parnas of France, the undefeated sensation that comes to KSW with that breath of fresh air that is youth. And Marcin Josek, who brings that Polish tenacity, that high skill set level, and the grinding attitude and pace that doesn't give up. Interesting to see now if Josek level change for the first time in this fight and try to get him down here off the wire. The thing is, though, I don't know if he can ride this round out. I could probably make a case for the second. And undoubtedly, I would say the third for Parnas, or excuse me, the first for Parnas. It's definitely been a challenge for both fighters, a huge clash of styles, but what a turn of events for Panas. He's definitely brought something different to the party, and it wasn't that floaty, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee stuff that we've seen earlier. This is a real game changer. He really has come to do business. Thomas Bronda separates the two. This is where the momentum may change. This is where Panas may get the space to land a shot. Up goes the high kick! Milwaukee Gary, we love that! Straight away, he writes down a statement of intent. Interesting. Parnas touched gloves and gave him time to put that mouthpiece back in. The thing is, though, for me, Josek can't just be comfortable in winning this round. He can't take it by a narrow margin. He needs a big third here. 
you've got to watch Parnas in the exchanges. When he gets in close, he's throwing shots upwards as Josek tries to go for shoot. That's a high-level change there. He's keeping this upright with the kicks, starting to use the strategy we thought he'd start the fight with at the end. Josek marches in, doesn't he? He really does march in through the front door, and that's an easy target for Panas. But it was sloppy work there. Josek took advantage. Panas goes to the mat, and he now has to defend off of his back. This is huge. Josek has put it down in the middle of the ring, a lot of time on the clock, just over the midway point of this round. Got to work to pass here. We've not seen Pardas in this position yet in his KSW career. He's got one butterfly hook on the right. Marcin trying to walk forward and shut down those hips. Good head pressure on the inside. Short punches to open up the position. An open hand strike there from Panas, and he manages to reverse and get up. That was blisteringly fast, and Panas has done some escapology here, and bringing it in close, and Vo Josek knows that was a missed opportunity. How quick was Panas to get up off the ground? That was beautifully posted on the hip and just sat right up. It wasn't even a super technical stand-up. It was just a very explosive push off the hips and went to his knees. Panas now setting up the one-two, puts the right out and tries to land the left. Josek will know this. He'll have watched the tape. Marcin is tired. Both guys are tired here. This has been a very high-energy fight. Pedal to the metal. Interesting, we're not seeing Parnas on his toes. Using that lean back to come out of range, but to stay in. This is a grinding match. We've got one minute left in round three. I don't know which way this will go. Tries to go for the shoot there, Josek. Little slip there from Parnas. Not advantaged by Josek, but this is getting down and dirty now as it comes up. One minute left on the clock. Both guys had to be ready for this tonight. That was one of my keys, be ready for 15 minutes of this. Wherever it took place, it was going to be hotly contested. Parnas has gone the distance in four of his last five. Josek coming off that decision win against Shemansky. A lot of eyes on this in a crowded division at 145. A very fluid division, too. It's very hard to call this. I thought it was a strong round for Panas at the end of the second. You might call the first one equal. I, I think Panas, if he holds out and finishes strongly here, he might edge this on a decision. May not be unanimous, but he's looking strong now, Panas. There's the 10-second clapper. Rolling Thunder cartwheel kick there from Josek. And uh, Panas, in that very French way, shrugs his shoulders as if to say, Bon. That's the end. Well, it was dramatic in every way, shape, and form, but not in the way we thought it was going to be. And I don't know how we're going to call this. I think it's difficult for Panas to expect to win, but I think he's probably done enough. There's some different ways you could look at the first round, I think. Potentially the third. I think Panas has edged it. You can see him there on the top of the ring calling for that title. And that could be what it takes to take on a former champion like this who was obviously intent on moving towards that same objective. Yeah, when you consider what was at stake and the objective of both men, this really was a, 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 an everything out on the line outing, wasn't it? So confident from the young player, Panas. But Josek, well, you've got to put a stake in his heart to keep him down. He gets connected so many times. Three uppercuts in the second round that would have flattened any other fighter. Panas, well, knocks the mouth guard out of... And that little short right hand, just look at the uppercuts here. Panas is electrifying. I think Panas has done enough here, but decided a very game Josek here in the third round. We're seeing some of those highlights. Yes, he pressed forward. Yes, he went for the takedown. But he got clipped with some of the shots coming in. Here at the end of the fight, going for the home run shot, but nothing but air. It'll be close. And I think in an outing like that, although there is a winner, no one really loses. It was a perfect matchup again. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a unanimous decision, and your winner is...
Saladin Parnas. Parnas has done it. It's a unanimous decision. I thought it might be split, but he's obviously done enough. That was great work.